Hello! In uh, this video I'm going to revive uh, the 80s pen, which honestly hasn't been touched uh, since then, hasn't been used, uh, because the story is uh, this pen, which you can see right now, um, it's called, uh, the brand's called Centro Pen or Centro Pen, um, and it is based in uh, these days Czechia, and back then it was Czechoslovakia because this pen was uh, produced, uh, I believe, uh, somewhere uh, towards the end of the 80s. And back then it was called Czechoslovakia, where the company was based. Uh, the story is that I, I have two of these, actually. And this one has been damaged by me uh, a long time ago. As you can see, it's cracked. It's it's useless right now. So we're not going to talk about this one. Um, but this, uh, the other, uh, my brother kept it in a drawer, uh, has kept it in a drawer for many years. And lately he was doing some kind of uh, cleanup. So he gave it to me because it's useless for him. He doesn't really write with fountain pens, but I do. So I have decided to revive it and fill it with ink and see how it how it writes. So this is central pen uh, and uh, this is uh, clearly visible maybe on the, maybe not on the camera but it's written here on the nib it's called central pe actually n is missing maybe it didn't fit on the nib but uh, I had to use a magnifying glass actually to to detect uh, what it is. Uh, there is number 32 and also there is number 301 on the grip here so that's why uh, i believe this is somewhat uh, related to a model number so either it's central print number 32 or it's central print number uh, 301. Uh, the nib is made of metal i believe let me zoom it Looks like this. So it's a regular nib. Uh, and what's interesting that the piston is only this. Uh, there is no ink cartridge to fit into the, the section. There is no converter. It's only what it is and it works really heavily. So you're gonna try to revive it by filling it with ink right now and then I'm going to give it a test because to my to my opinion as, as it goes right now it feels really scratchy but we're gonna see I'm using uh, Hero ink uh, which is Chinese ink a black color Oh, pretty, pretty. It filled entirely, which is good. It's a good sign it may arrive. I'm clean the meat, clean the section. And let's see. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Just wondering why. There may be a problem with something which delivers that pen to the nib. Okay, the test number two. I'm gonna do this again to leave some ink back into the bottle. and play with the piston a little bit.
Yep, Aiden unfortunately doesn't want to write at all. I'm wondering why. Interestingly, it writes this in this direction. Hang on, I'm gonna screw it. Close the, bo the bottle and see again. So this pen doesn't write really. Oh, it does, it does. Oh, hello. Hello, okay, okay. So we're starting off again. So this is a uh, central pen. Central pen. Number probably either 31 as on the nib or 301 as on the grip. The nib feels to me like something Uh, between F or better M size um, feels scratchy reverse reverse is amazing I must say uh, in contradiction to the regular writing because it feels the reverse writing feels very smooth down it's okay down it's smooth down smooth up scratchy left and okay feels okay also to the right and now um kind of Famous, famous pattern. No, oh, again. It's kind of either it is drying somewhere in the section part, or it doesn't deliver it entirely. I will remove some of the ink and then fill it in again. It's giving me the impression that there is some additional air being sucked in, even though I put the nib quite entirely into the ink. Okay, there we go. So where are we? The patterns here, right? There's a problem with the light. I'm sorry about this. Hmm. Maybe because I'm having two sources of light. Let me cover the window, or maybe this is better now. Um, so, yeah, this pen acts like the, the nib actually is like when I'm drawing the lines from uh, the top to the bottom is okay, from the bottom to the top feels scratchy. And so it, it's very similar as I shown as I have shown uh, uh, for the reverse writing. Uh, from the left to the right is okay, for the, from the right to the left is also okay in this nib direction. So yeah, it's 
it's kind of cool to have it back, working back. And the story is that I, I got this pen, uh, we got this pen uh, from my aunt who uh, emigrated from the Polish, Polish People's Republic uh, these days, Poland, to Austria. And uh, probably she had a chance to uh, buy these pens on her way, maybe on her trip through back then uh, Czechoslovakia. Uh, to Austria, Austria, or or, or um, the Pol Polish Repub Polish People's Republic, in uh, somewhere around 19 1989, I believe 1988, because I was in my primary school when uh, I got mine pen, which is like I said, damaged right now. So I'm using my brother's pen, and it's kind of cool to have it working again. So if you want to learn more about the company, it's Centro Pen or Cent or Centro Pen as, as it could be read in a European language. EU, that's the domain, that's the website name. And they produce markers, uh, pencils, I believe, and a lot of writing tools for uh, children uh, these days. So that's the pen. Thank you for watching. And I'll be back with other videos of more modern fountain pens the next time. Cheers.